What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Survivor Series 2022 War Games Predictions video. Now guys, this video is taking place before the Go Home Smackdown but after the Go Home Raw. So if there is any matches added on Smackdown, uh, there is going to be things that are revealed on Smackdown, we already know. Uh, I will add them in the description down below, as well as the comments, alongside my prediction. Survivor Series is taking place this Saturday, and I will be watching it live. For the first time in a long time, I've actually got the opportunity to watch a WWE pay-per-view live uh, that is at normal US time. I guess you could say I watch Crown Jewel, but you know, that's a different time zone over here. Whatever. Anyway, guys, I will be watching it live and hopefully giving you all my reaction videos to it as well. Without further ado, let's get right into my Survivor Series War Games predictions video. Let's go. Kicking off the show, we have a match that hasn't taken place in a very long time. The last time I remember it taking place was actually TLC 2017, but I think it has taken place since then. It probably has. I'm not too sure. It's AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, AJ representing the OC, Balor representing the Judgment Day. I'm very much looking forward to this one. However, I'm going with AJ Styles to pick up his first premium live event victory in a very, very long time. I don't think AJ has won on a single pay-per-view at all this year. Uh, so let's change that. Let's give AJ Styles a victory. The SmackDown Women's Championship is being defended next as the champion Ronda Rousey takes on Shotzi Blackheart. Now, Shotzi actually won a number one contenders match. I don't actually see her winning the championship, though. I think we are all in agreement here when I say that Ronda Rousey is going to leave Survivor Series still the SmackDown Women's Champion. A United States Championship triple threat match comes next as the relatively new champ, Seth Freaking Rollins takes on the recently repackaged, sort of, Austin Theory and the brand new ultimate heel on Raw, Bobby Lashley. Now, Rollins has only just won the title. I don't see him dropping it here, but I do see this match being an absolute banger. Hopefully, Theory can get some serious offense in. I know, obviously, he lost his money in the bank cash in, which I'm still confused by, but Triple H... Uh, is seemingly repackaging Theory to become the Triple H version of Austin Theory instead of the Vince version of Theory, which I'm all for, as long as Theory does well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Seth Rollins is going to retain, but I definitely see all three of these men having an absolute show in this match. One of two War Games matches now, and it is the ladies' one first. Damage Control, Bailey. Eo Sky, Dakota Kai, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki Cross taking on Alexa Bliss, Bianca Belair, Asuka, Mia Yim, and a mystery partner. Now, the mystery partner is going to be revealed on SmackDown tonight. However, once again, this video is taking place before then. So, my prediction I think it's going to be Becky. Lynch. I've seen people say it could be Naomi, it could be Michelle McCall, it could be Sasha Banks. I don't know. I am predicting it to be Becky Lynch. But either way, I have got damage control winning here. I have got the bad guy team, the heel team is going to be winning here. And uh, yeah, I think Bailey damage control, they just need a win because obviously Bailey's lost her last. I think it's, it's two or three championship matches against Bianca Belair. Not good. I want Bailey to beat Bianca by pinning her. Uh, even if it doesn't lead to a championship match again, at least you can build some credibility back. I don't know. Damage control is going to win. And that brings us to the main event of the evening. The men's war games match. The bloodline. Roman Reigns, the WWE undisputed universal champion. Sami Zayn. The Usos. And Solo Sokoa taking on the brawling brutes. Sheamus, Butch, and Ridge Holland, alongside Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens. This match is going to be good, but once again, War Games, I have got the hills going over uh, for, the le for the ladies and for the gents. We have got the Bloodline winning. And uh, yeah, I I'm going with the Bloodline to pick up a victory here. I may be proven wrong. I've seen a lot of people saying that 
uh, the Babyface team, the Brawling Brutes' team is going to win. Sami Zayn's going to eat the final pinfall and then the Bloodline are going to turn on him. I can see that happening, uh, but I don't know why. I, I just If Roman's in the match, I just feel like he's going to win. So I'm predicting the Bloodline to win and have both heel teams pick up victories at War Games. But I am very excited for the show. There's not many matches really on this card. I'm, I'm probably going to have a few more announced on tonight on SmackDown, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I will be adding them in the description as well as the comments alongside my prediction if they are added. Anyway, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. These have been my Survivor Series 2022 War Games predictions. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you at War Games. Goodbye. Whoa!